Hi everyone. Thank you guys for being here. Um, this is a pre-recorded video uh, of a jewelry sale that I'm having and it's all going to be sterling gold, some gold fill, and just a few uh, really awesome costume pieces that I want to offer up for sale. Um, I'm going to just get right into it and first I'll give you the information. I'll actually pop up a little picture on the screen and I'll also tell you what is required and the info I need you to do is give me your PayPal information. So your PayPal email, your name and your address if you have not bought from me before and you will also email me a timestamp and you know just a general name for the item that you're wanting and the price and it will be a flat five dollar shipping fee and also this is only for uh, US residents so I think that's everything um, hopefully I didn't forget anything, but I'll have the info in the description. I've also popped up a little picture info graph to help you out. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with the sterling pieces. Um, a lot of these I've gotten at estate sales recently or online, and I have not showed any of these pieces at all on my channel, um, nor have they been offered for sale. So this first piece is really sweet. This is sterling and gold. And we have this sweet little cherub here with this really nice etched um, like filigree frame. And on the back here, it has this sweet little prayer and then it is marked right here on the top. Let's see, yeah, we got it the right way. Um, the first, I think it's like a M, yeah, M-A and it stands for Michael Anthony. This is a 925 sterling piece and also 14 carats. So that angel there is 14 karat gold. Really sweet piece. Here's how big the pendant is. It's actually one inch long. And then the chain. I'm actually gonna get my tape measure. about 18 inches long and this is a snake chain it's also marked marked on the chain really adorable piece and I didn't I had never heard of Michael Anthony and that's a really really good designer um, it also this whole necklace Oh, I didn't write down the weight. So the pendant measures two and a half grams and then the chain measures 3.4 grams. So I hope that is all the info you need. I tried to be very thorough. Now I am going to ask $50 for this gold and sterling cherub necklace. All right. Next piece are these really lovely sterling silver turquoise, they're kind of, I guess, bezel set. They're just really flush and smooth. These are really nice. These were actually in my own collection. I just stopped reaching for them. I have other turquoise earrings that I just wear a lot more. 
but these are really, really nice. And they are marked 925 on the inside there. They have the hinge clasp. These have been cleaned up. I just lightly polished these. So the drop is about one and a quarter. Really, really lovely. There was no designer mark, so I'm not sure if these are Native American or you know, in India or somewhere else, I'm not really sure, but these I'm offering for $35. Oh, and I forgot to say they weigh five and a half grams. So nice little weight there. They're not too heavy. Then the next piece I have are some, some more earrings. have these dangly hook kind of stack circles in there if there's three rings they dangle really nicely these are very simple and just really cute and they're marked on the hook right here and also right here on the back of them you can look at that mark. It says 925, I believe that's LA or IA. Not sure. Not sure where these are made. So those hang about one and three quarters. And then the hoops here are about a little over, right, or right at a, about an inch. And these weigh 4.1 grams, and I'm going to offer these for $15. We have some more earrings that were in my collection. These are some really sweet teardrop shaped amethyst sterling earrings. Here they latch in the back like this. Very comfortable. I don't know if we can get these. Yeah, so the light kind of comes through there. They're really nice purple, like lavender color. And they are marked back here. It says A925, I believe. Yeah, A925. These weigh 2.7 grams, and I'm going to ask $17 for these. All right, now that is all the sterling earrings. Now I've got some really awesome uh, gold pieces. These I've had for a while. Uh, I wore them a few times, but just didn't reach for them a whole lot. So these are 10 karat gold, uh, just some hollow hoops. Let's see, there's the mark. These are marked, uh, I think that's JJT, 10 karat. The other one's marked there. So these are about three quarters of an inch and they're very light. I, I believe these are hollow. They weigh just under a gram, so 0.9 grams to be exact. And I'm going to ask $42 for these. Really great, just super classic look. We've got more gold earrings. These are a brushed brushed gold sphere or ball and these are 
they feel hollow as well. They've got their 14 karat gold earring backs. They don't exactly match. Let's see if I can get in there and show you. So there's one. Mark 14 karat ZZ. And then this one's marked 14 karat. And I could not find a marking on the actual earring itself. So I think it just so happens that just the earring backs were marked. So I'm not quite sure. I did test these. I tested all my pieces. And I also want to note, I tried to do it in a spot that you couldn't see, but let's see, here it is. There's kind of a smooth out spot right there where I did the scratch test. So, I had to do a very small spot because I did not want to um, damage these earrings. So these do weigh 1.2 grams and oh these measure well I'll get the little measuring tool out these are about six and a half millimeters the how wide the balls are so I'm asking $72 for these 14 karat gold earrings. We've got some more 14 karat earrings. Now these are really, really dainty, very sweet. These are CZs, so cubic zirconia. They are not diamonds, but they have really great shine and brilliance to them. Let's see if we can zoom in. And the colors changing on me when I zoom in. So it has, let's see, four prongs right there. I'll show you the mark. The earring backs are marked. Oh, I think they were on the inside. Yes. 14 carat. It's upside down. Then the stems of these were also marked. See if we can get in there. Or you might have to just take my word for it. <laughs> but I just at least want to show you where they're marked. Yeah, you can see the writing there or the stamping. Uh, let's see, we'll measure the stone there. So just about at four millimeters. These are super sweet and dainty. I just, I have some already like this. All right, so these are CZ 14 karat gold little stud earrings and I'm going to ask just $22 for these. Oh, and they weigh 0.4 grams. All right, now we have some gold fill earrings. Just some lever back. These are faux pearls. And they screw on to the base there. They're not glued on or anything. 
So they're like an acrylic. They're very lightweight. Show you the marking here. So it's 1420 GF for gold fill. Oh, let's see, let's get the measurement there. So it's about at three quarters of an inch drop. And we're going to ask just $12 for these cute classic little gold fill earrings. One more silver earrings, and I actually repurposed these. These are all sterling. These, I got them just like this. They are from a broken, probably a bracelet. This is an Art Deco sterling linked bracelet with faux lapis. So this is Czech lapis uh, glass. See back there. You can see there it was marked sterling. So I made these sterling wire hook earrings and just attached them there. And they are so fun. I love them. Um, this would have been quite an amazing bracelet. Maybe maybe a necklace, but probably a bracelet. And oh, I just love them. They had very sharp um, spots right here on the ends where they were connected, you know, to the links there. And they were broken off, so I just filed those down. So they're very smooth. They will not they will not hurt you. So these are almost two and a half over two and a quarter. And then about a half an inch wide. Well, a little more than an inch, a uh, half an inch wide. All right, and uh, let's see, did I weigh these? Well, I can weigh these right quick. All right, 11.7 grams. These, they're a little bit of weight. They're actually very comfortable. I wore these see how they looked and how they felt very nice and comfortable i'm going to ask 45 dollars for these sterling art deco repurposed earrings now had this beautiful vintage all sterling flower brooch these are handcrafted you can see um how they cut this wire and soldered it in this leaf, etched it. Just the whole thing is handcrafted. It is so beautiful. It is marked sterling. There's no other markings. So it reminds me of some Mexican silver pieces. Um, that's my guess to this, you know, maybe around the mid-century, maybe a little earlier. I'm not, not quite sure. It's huge. <laughs> this is a really large pen. Uh, I believe it would kind of sit like this. So, that's a little over four inches, and then the drop. A little over two and a half inches. Well, right at two and a half. Quite a large piece. It's it's a good medium weight. It's not it's not too heavy. This is a really long pin. And it did it does weigh twenty one point one grams. 
and I'm going to sell this one for $38. We have a similar brooch, but this one is actually gold fill. And look at these just luscious, colorful rhinestones. We've got pink, blue, yellow, red, green, and like a dark purple color. And I did not polish this. I didn't polish the, um, really any of these pieces I'm going to show you because I want to leave that up to you. Some people really like the patina and some people really do not. And I love that these stones are open back so you can kind of let the light through there. These are just so beautiful. Now I could not make out who made this. I believe it's an MC and you can kind of make out where it was marked 12k and then I'm not sure what those other letters are but I'm positive this is gold fill um, I found one very similar online but um, couldn't figure out who made this brooch or exactly what era maybe I would guess the 40s because a lot of these sterling and gold filled brooches were popular during that time. This is just so cute. So this one's almost four and a half inches long. And then it's a little over two inches wide there. It's really pretty. Look at the base of the flowers there. Love the detail. So yes, this has some tarnish to it. I almost thought it was sterling, but you can see it just like this muted gold color, almost like a ro rose gold. And this one weighed 11 and a half ounces and I'm going to sell this one for $24. I love this bird. It looks like to me a swallow. Um, some type of swallow bird. Now this was damaged. I believe the catch was right here. You can see it's been broken off and I'm not sure if this just had a loop to be a pendant and a brooch but somebody twisted the wire here and um, kind of bent the wire a little bit to uh, attach there and it is it's very sturdy so it is wearable you can wear this but please note there is damage here to the original clasp it's gone and there's a little makeshift clasp there. Now it is marked made in Mexico, sterling. This has very heavy patina, it's almost black. And I love it because swallows are black in color. There's some silver you can see coming through there and in different areas, but I really like that really dark patina. So this one weighs 14.6 grams. And because of the damage and everything, I'm gonna offer this for $20. And one more brooch. I really don't have a lot of information on this and I've had it for a while and I'm just ready to let it go. I believe it is an old Chinese export piece. I don't think this is silver. I did not test it, but it has this really pretty filigree work to it. It's not marked or anything. Here's a safety clasp. And I have no idea what this is. You can see it's chipped there 
and it has this bluish tint to it like it was dyed. It's warm to the touch. It's some kind of organic material. That I know for sure. And from seeing that ship, I believe it's dyed. You can kind of see the more natural color coming through. And then it has these darker veins, prong set. I, I don't know much about this piece, but it's really cool. Uh, I believe it's Chinese in origin. Oh, let's do the measurement there. It's about one and three quarters long and then one and a quarter tall. So I'm going to offer this one for $34. Now one last piece. This is so beautiful. I don't know what kind of flowers these may be, but I find them very sweet. This is, I believe, copper with some kind of silver. Um, silver plating, maybe brass, because there's like some brassy tones coming through. This was very, very loved. And I'm not quite sure the origin, maybe 1940s. We've got it latched here. I've got, uh, not a small wrist, but what you do is you squeeze it here. It latches. I mean, it is very sturdy. Now it has a lot of wear to it. Some of the silver's coming off. Then you just squeeze it like this. Kind of flip up the latch. I don't have one of those fancy bracelet um, little measuring thing cones, so I'm going to do it this way. The, it's about seven inches on the inside, which that's about right because my wrist measures at six and a quarter. So yeah, seven inches. And it is about a little over an inch wide, probably about an inch and a quarter, including the petals. And I'm going to ask $18 for this bracelet. Really pretty. So that is everything I have for today. I really tried to pick out some great pieces that I have. I'm just ready to let go of them. Uh, a lot of them were personal pieces and pieces that I recently acquired. And again, all the information is in the description. Just email me timestamp of the item that you'd like to claim and send me your PayPal email name address and we'll get that all set up for you so thank you guys so much for being here for watching if this isn't your thing you're not looking for anything to buy um thanks for watching anyways <laughs> and i also have some other great content that i'm coming out very soon so thank you guys so much i'll see you guys later